What's up everybody and welcome to another edition of my Star Wars Galaxies videos. Uh, today I want to show you a couple things. Uh, this will be my last Star Wars Galaxy video in a while uh, before I just want to show you a thing here and there later on. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is in a few, I'm going to take a break from making any of these video game uh, videos. Focus on some other things on my channel that I wanted to move over from different videos that I've had and want to upload them to YouTube so this way they're out there. Um, but this is an actual, uh, what a, you know, Star Wars Galaxies again, and I wanted to, so in a few weeks may, I might show you more of Star Wars The Old Republic, uh, have an, a couple ideas of Star Wars The Old Republic when they hit the double XP, so I really want to show you that. But this is another one um, today where I want to show you a couple things. Um, housing, which I kind of did show you, but you know, a, a place where where I would typically where I've typically had a house in the past, um, which was not this one, no, I'm calling it the bottom. And by the way, I was dual logged. So there I am, I was dual logged at some point, but I'm also here. I'm also this character. So I go into this house today, and the structure's been condemned by the Order of the Empire. You currently require 5,758 credits to blah, 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 blah. So I don't have 5,050 in my bank account. I have 150,000 credits in my actual cash for my tips. So, what I want to do here, or what we should do here, see if I can find it. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to, so I was making this guy the Beastmaster, he's going to go on his Veractal now. So here's, here's a creature, I want to get into Beastmaster later on, but here's his creature. He got a couple creatures, uh, Veractal and the Lava Flea, and I'll have a whole bunch more in due time. Um, just going to use this for now. These are smaller creatures, they're not necessarily the quickest way of getting the things. I think if I recall correctly I got stuck on a quest here, but I'm not going to take you through any quests today, I think we've done enough questing. Uh, what I do want to take you through is, let's just see, do I have anything I need to add my expertise now? Okay. What I really want to do is just take you through the uh, buying a house, placing a house, and I also want to show you uh, a little space, uh, what what, are, what it looks like. So one of the cool parts about Star Wars Galaxies was they had the space game, and they really had it down pat. Um, it was it really made the game that much better, and a lot of people love the space game. Now, granted, a lot of people love the role play, a lot of people love the PvP. Everything in this game was what it should have been. But, as it is, the game came to an end, eventually, and, and that's the end of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring you back here. There's a couple things I want to bring you back to. The first is I want to at least show you how you can transfer cash from basically, it basically consider the credits, so it's like consider cash in your pocket to your bank account. Um, I will do that. The second thing I want to show you is essentially how you can buy a house. Uh oh. You can't fit through there. That's funny. <laughs> I did see another player out there, but I guess I'm not I guess the other player's not here. Okay. The uh, second thing is buying a house, which I want to show you buying a house. I want to buy a particular structure and really place it if I can. So, let's start with the cash. I have 150,000 credits. Let's say, let's put in 50,000 credits. So you have 100,000 in your in your thing. And Okay. So now you want to buy a house, but you don't know what you want to buy. You have generic planet house, generic planet house. There's not much there. Now, if you want to buy a particular house, you want to buy a Tatooine house, you want to buy a Naboo house, uh, you want to buy a Corellian house, anything, right? So really, there's, wow, I can't believe there's not much. So let's look at this planet, let's see. Uh, let's look at, so you can go through this, uh, it's called a bazaar. Uh, you can basically go through it, deed, uh, you go building deed. So you have your different deeds over here. Uh, you can look at large. Naboo House, so it's 149,000 credits. 
Do we want a large one? Eh. Yeah, Corellia house, windowed house. How about a medium Naboo house for eh, 82,000 credits? That doesn't seem too bad, right? What are we going to do? Yeah, I don't want a guild hall. No, no, needs, no reason for guild hall. I'm not starting a guild anytime soon. I can do a small Naboo house for 13,000 credits. I'm going to just grab a small. What is the difference here? I think one was windowed and one was not. I don't understand what the difference was here. Oh, there's two. Oh, it's a round, round one lot, and then the other one I think is a square. Uh, so let's get the round house. Thirteen thousand, thirteen thousand. I don't think there's any on this planet. Nope. I gotta go through the entire galaxy. So really, if you want thirteen thousand five hundred fifty-two, thirteen thousand four forty-four, and. 13,444, 35,000. I think that's a little too much, but you do have. All right, cool. All right, excellent. All right, so really what we want to do, what you do if you want to buy a, a house from somewhere else, you have the locations are on and everything so far is on Naboo. Uh, it could be any, so you see you have Naboo, Naboo. Uh, no, granted, you can. it can be anywhere on Naboo. It could be anywhere at any planet that you can put anything on. So, for example, if you wanted a, just a, a Tatooine Guild Hall, you know, you could have it. It seems like Naboo is a popular. So you can, you can buy it in Talos, for example. You can buy it in Dantooine, wherever, wherever they sell these things. You have a small windowed Naboo house, which is kind of cool, but I don't like the windowed houses. So I'm going to go ahead uh, with the small Naboo house style 2. We're going to go grab that somewhere. We're going to create a waypoint. Now that waypoint essentially takes you to uh, the planet. So before I do that though, I want to go back to this and really get my right, get my Tatooine house back to normal. This way it's not condemned by the Empire. Once it's condemned by the Empire, then you're kind of screwed because other people can... They don't claim your house, but... Um, Essentially what they do is there's like a new quest in the game that was added later in the game where if you had a bunch of houses that were you know essentially condemned by the Empire uh, you can destroy those houses and make room for your own house or destroy those you know or you can actually destroy this you know or you can destroy a city so that's what ended up happening was I actually destroyed a city that way um, which was very interesting and I made room for my own city so I don't want to do that right now what I want to do is this come in here put in some stuff in here and once I do this you can go back at it he will have a okay yep yeah, mm-hmm and he's got it back now. I got my house back. Now I can do whatever I need to do. So I can pay maintenance. For example, if I really wanted to, I could put a maintenance pool of say, eh, I don't know, say thirty-five thousand. That gets me enough for a little bit. So it gives me a hundred and nine thousand credits left over overall, right? So you got nine thousand. So okay, all right, excellent. So you have it. So I got my house back here on Tatooine, which is really cool. Very close to the city. It's a tarp. Yeah, that was my other house. So these are my houses. Bunny Ranch. It's a tarp, or a, should be it's a trap, and a junk house. And I don't know if this is my house or not. Is this one of my houses? Ah, Mando, ADDHD. Yep, that's one of my houses. Okay. All right. So I have four small houses sitting right there. Uh, so what I want to do take you to is one of my favorite things to do in game here was to get to a little shopping. Um, you'll be able to see the vendors, you'll be able to see, well that's a lot of red on the map, I don't like that red. And, and I have a lower lower level character which is actually very scary. Okay. I'm going to take you up in a ship, um, or maybe I'll take you up in a ship last. I'm going to take you to buying a, a house and then placing that house somewhere. I have a particular place where I do want to want to place a house. Uh, once I place that house, 
And by the way, I just realized I shut off the sound on this, and that kind of sticks. Uh, and, and that kind of sticks because of the fact that I do like the game. Um, so let's let's turn the sound back on. I do like the music to the game and everything, so not fair to me to have the sound off. So I'm kind of at a guessing game as to where on Naboo I'll be going to. So because oh by the way I can actually get my yacht going, can I? Oh, I really can. So I can generate the ship there. Quite interesting that I have all these crazies somewhere here. Painting a meat lump and this and that and that. Thousand GCW points. Wow, interesting. Okay. All right. I'm gonna travel over to Naboo. I'm gonna take a guess at the closest. That's the only thing that I didn't like about this is you have to guess at the closest spaceport. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. But most of the time, you can just take the shuttle to where you need to take to take it anyway. Theed has always been my my place of of travel, so that's been always a big travel place for me. So there we go. All right. So now I have to play a guessing game as to where, and eh, it's not too far. All right, cool. It's not too far. This is a city. I don't know if it's a shuttle port. It does. So we can take a shuttle port there, or we can travel there. Um, they're gonna take a shuttle port. They're gonna make it much easier. All right? Even though it was right there. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of funny, I used to place houses over there. All right. We're gonna place a shuttle port there. We're gonna, oh, that's not where I wanna go. So now you gotta go to the shuttle guy, take the shuttle over to that shuttle port. It'll probably be a town with different houses in it. You'll get to see the person's vendors. They probably have a lot of items there, which would be really cool. I just need a small Naboo house. So what they used to do is is they what they used to do is they used to offer Naboo houses along with um oh, sorry, they used to offer uh, free citizenship a uh, free houses along with the free citizenship and uh, they used to pay for your maintenance to live in their city. So if somebody had a city, they would take that. So this is definitely a, a very small vendor. Very, very small vendor. Right? <laughs> Look at all this stuff in here. It's kind of cool, actually. Deeds. Ewok Festival of Love. Familiar Deed. Familiar Deed. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so you have two vendors here. It's probably this one. Oh, cool. Great. Well, this person has a lot here. That's kind of cool. Probably a little bit more than I, I really need. Only thing I really need is a building deed here. Let me see what the cheapest is, I'm sure. That's exactly where I need to go. Small Naboo house, that's all I want. Small Naboo house, I'm going to buy that. Thank you so much, sir. Now, the other problem is that I have nothing left in my bank terminal now, so I'm going to transfer some credits over to my banking. So, as you can hear, music. This is this was my favorite. The Naboo music was my absolute favorite music. I'm going to transfer like fifty thousand here, just this way I have enough. So the Naboo music was always my favorite. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to put my house in their city. You can't put your house in a city unless you get zoning rights. So, if, say for example, you wanted to 
say, oh, I, I want a small new move house. You don't have the right to place structure in the city of mayor or one of the city militia. Let's grant you zoning rights first. So you cannot automatically place a house in the city unless they grant you zoning rights. Rightfully so. So I want to go to my next favorite spot. May not have the opportunity to put it on there, put it on there, but let's see. Uh, I think I should. I don't think there's a city here. All right, cool. Uh, in Kadara and Nabu was always my favorite place to put a house. So as you see, you have some housing here. I'm gonna go ahead and change my data pad up a little bit. I want my fast ship there that I can use. So this isn't even where I am in this game. I'm not even on Naboo, but that's fine and dandy. Uh, so what I liked about this was that I thought you could place houses at some point somewhere, but you can't until you start getting into, you see where these people have the houses, their little tents and whatnot over here? That's where you can start placing them. Now, I don't know if it's somebody's city or not. But I will find out in due time. So I always like doing this on the beach because when I was on the beach, yes. No way. I can literally place it on the beach. That is so cool. Alright. And this was my favorite part about the whole game is that you can place your house on the beach. <laughs> I mean, this was definitely one of my favorite parts of the whole game. Now, I don't know if I can, I guess I can probably pick up the structure if I want to. I kind of want to flip it around a little bit, but, so the entrance is going out the beach, but that's fine. I can just leave it here for now. All right, so there you have placing a home, placing a home on the beach of all places. You can change the name of your structure if you want to change the name of the structure. You can put some maintenance in there. Again, I'll put some maintenance in there. Let's just say I want to do... Let's just say I want to do 25000 Now you can change the name of the structure. If you want to change the name of the structure, you can... Pick out you the core residency. You can make it private. Uh, I thought you could change the name of the structure, set name. This just says Danny Baca's house. So uh, let's call it Dream Beach House. Doesn't make a difference, right? So then you can start placing your items in here. I don't know if you want to place them, so I have some items that I really don't want. Oh, by the way, if you ever can't see, you press the L button and you get a little light. So we can start placing, like say, a rock chair. I can place a rock chair down here, right? That's that's all fun, Danny. I can't believe that's a chair. But it is a chair. I'm going to show you some more of the housing when I get more credits later on. And you can place different things in this house. Uh, for example, you want to place you know, the painting of the meat lump in here. You can place that. I think I've showed you guys all this before. So if I want to, I can move up, say 150. Really? Huh. Interesting. All right, so I'm letting me make it. I think it's because it has something else, the structure management terminal selected for whatever reason. But you can continue on. You know, you have different things here. You got the war terminal. I like the hollow pets.
you can put a hollow pedal and emitter in here. So we can insert data cube, which is that one. So you get these and you can turn it on. Now I got this little, I'm supposed to have this little hollow pet. I don't know what happened. Oh, turn on. I don't know why I stopped letting me turn it on. Alright, whatever. Um, might be because back. Alright, let's try turning it on now. Insert data cube. I already have that in there. Oh, I guess it's not going in there. Alright, whatever. Might just be some sort of lag or some sort. But you can put different things in here, right? You guess you got some more paintings. I can put another painting up here if I really want. Uh, fortunately, for whatever reason, it's not letting me move things around, but that's fine too. I'll clean up the house a little bit more when, t when I get the time. You get a snow machine if you want to put a snow machine in here. You can drop it and make it snow. It says no trade share. So you can make it snow in here. I don't know what's going on. There it is. So you start you see it's starting to snow now. Just made it snow in this house. I'm just gonna drop a whole bunch of the stuff that I have. Uh yeah, snack a stack of snowballs. Huh. You can throw these at people if you want. Uh, I can put the Rancor in here, which is kind of cool. I like that Rancor statue anyway. Right. Uh, you got this uh, stupid hologram thing, which I never really like. It's a painting controller of some sort. I don't really know what was up with that, but if you want to... I guess you can move that up. Move up. 150. Yeah, see, nothing's getting moved up. I have no idea why. I think that... I don't understand why some of these things aren't working. It's probably because it's a smaller house. Uh, so you got a hologram of Jedi Knight. You can do that as well. That's that hologram there. Again, wow. Okay. I wasn't trying to... Move that up, but okay. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to turn it on. It's not letting me turn it on. That's all right. Whatever. I just gonna drop random things in this house for now. Uh, Galactic Civil War collectible globe. I'll put these in a different room here. Since these are smaller, a war terminal. I can drop that. Thank you. So now I got to go up. By the way, there's tables and couches and stuff like that I can eventually get later on in life. Sorry, in life, in game. So these are very small, as you see. Nothing really to do here. I'm just dropping items just to drop them now. Right? Now, now, now I'm just dropping the items just to drop them. Okay. Now, I should be able to move that up a little bit. Rotate it around. I thought I could turn this on. But I guess not. All right, whatever. To move it forward. Nope, can't move it forward that much. 50. So that's about as far as I can go. It's it's very it's almost against the wall. Like I think it is against the wall at this point. All right, excellent. I mean you can't do anything with it. 
Created by the stage where a magician went above with this device, someone creates a painting below it that will change out the mode of random intervals, moving this object to temporarily make the painting disappear. So it's a random object that happens, I guess, somehow it creates a random painting. Ah, let's go. I can move it up another 150 or so, right? What do you think? That's fine. I just split it, create paintings and stuff like that. Ah, so there you go. You can look at your galactic war terminal, who's controlling what, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, that's that. And then I'll show you one more thing. And then I will be done. This is my dream beach home. Thank you so much. I can access it now. And I'm going to show you one more thing, which is what I want to do. I want to show you essentially a ship. Wow, I've never been able to place a house actually that close to the beach. I'm very glad I was able to. Uh, but there are different types of structures that I've seen before. Um, for example, you got the uh, Kashyyyk tree house, you had the Jedi temples, you had all, the, all this crazy stuff. Um, yeah, you have guild halls, you got cantinas, and, and I really want to get those going. And uh, so housing was a big, 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 big part of the game in Star Wars Galaxy. It's so big that like no one's really ever been able to duplicate it the way this game had it. I mean, you had so many decorations in this game, it wasn't even funny. And, and people loved it. People loved their house. Like, if I showed you my old houses, I even spent hours upon hours just making these houses. So, I'm going to launch my ship now. So here is a part of space. I said I want to launch my ship. I can't launch my space. My ship. Why? Why can't I launch my ship? Uh, Alright, I, well, unfortunately it's not letting me launch my yacht, which is what I wanted them to do. Unless I didn't create something. Oh, generate ship. Okay, so I already have the yacht. Oh, you know why? I know why. Because it's actually parked in most Eisley, I think. Yeah. Because because it's actually parked in another another starport. So it doesn't tell you what starport it's at right now. Um So when I generated it, I generated it in most Eisley. Right. And Tatooine. So unless I'm completely missing something. Am I not allowed to do anything? That's interesting. I can't do anything with my ships. Huh. Alright, well, I'm going to try from Tatooine. I'm going to go out here. I bought a ticket to Tatooine. Hopefully, I can do that. Um, hmm. Again, it's an emulator, so you got to expect it's going to have bugs. Might just be that I can't launch into that, that space right now. So let me try. And see if I can launch from this space. I can't believe that guy's actually like giving me health bucks right now. There you go. Excellent. All right. So this is going to be your one of your ships. This is a non-combat ship. It's basically your yacht. There's not much to it. Uh, you can put decorations and stuff in this yacht, which is I think is the coolest part. And uh, yeah. So I'm not going to drop any decorations in here because I just dropped a whole bunch in my Naboo house, but eventually I will. So you can actually get up where you can not do anything. So this is what. So you can leave ship station. And now you can get up off your ship and walk around. So this is this is the planet you're above. You're above Tatooine right now. Here's your ship station. Right? Here's your structure terminal. Uh, structure permissions. The good news is you don't have to pay anything here. 
you can find your items, but this is your luxury yacht that you can sit around at. You can make different, uh, you put different items in here if you want to put, like, say, uh, tables and chairs and, and whatnot in here. You can. I think, but I always thought that was very cool. Yeah, you kind of have an upstairs, you can do that. So you have a little deck up here too, right? And you have a little side room. You can do one more. And this is your upper upper deck, and that's it. So there you have it. So that's what your ship looks like. And if you ever want to go back, right, you can always go back. The upper deck, go down. So you can go back here again. You kind of have like a little bar area, so if you want to put like bar droids and whatnot, you can put those in there. Oh, I forgot about this upstairs too. Oh yeah, that's your that's your uh, pilot's chair, it's your regular chair. Oh, okay, there's one more. I forgot there was one more area down here. It's kind of like the basement. Which is not really much here, but it is what it is. Kind of used for role playing purposes more than anything else, right? It is what it is, and you just go in here. You don't really have anything. You just put random junk in there, like it's like a little closet or whatever. But this is your ship, uh, your your luxury yacht that you'll get. Uh, kind of cool. And if you really, I forgot what this did. This explode your ship? No, that didn't explode your ship. There was there was a way you can you can like do an eject or something like that, but I forgot what it was. Somehow you can eject yourself out of the ship and explode your ship. But anyway, you don't want to do that with your luxury yacht. I think you want to save it. You got your pilot ship here, pilot chair here, and now you can, if you really want, you can pilot it back to back to safety. Or you can hyperspace to wherever you want to hyperspace. I usually just pilot it back to safety. There you go. No one will be attacking you here. And you can request the land. Kind of cool. Um, I like the combat ships a lot. Eh, you want to land on Tatooine, right? Special work for me, blah blah blah. You want to land on Tatooine. Any star port most likely works. And there you go. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Introduction to player housing and introduction to space a little bit. Um, if you like what my videos, comment, subscribe to my channel, like my video and follow me. Uh, I will have more in the future, hopefully not as long as this, or, or maybe I'll do a couple live sessions here and there. So until then, I'll see ya.